Happy Tuesday. I have two boxes <laughs> from the Melted Moose. This is my customs. I did open this one. She has beautiful packaging as always. So I did open this because I am super excited. I did not smell anything, but I'm like, we need to do this. So she did write, thank you so much, Charity. Hope you love everything. Merry Christmas, Jackie. There's a little ornament in here. Goes with my red. There is an invoice, but she doesn't do it detailed. It just when she posts your customs on the and her website, she just posts it as customs. But I have my list I keep, so I'm not worried about it. There are samples on the side here. And she's got this cute. Oh, I should have grabbed a container to throw this into. Press. Oh, shoot. I forgot one thing. You know, I always think, oh, I can do this without editing. And I don't take these out. Okay. So, some of these are from her Christmas box. I don't remember exactly which ones, okay? I think the souffles are some more of mine. Um, you guys, I had to get key lime pie. Now, generally, I'm not this kind of person, but I... Everybody raves about this. I think this and Cindy Lou are her top sellers. So, oh, I can see why everybody loves this. Oh my gosh, this is good. And I'm usually, I didn't think I was a key lime person. Oh, that is good. Hmm. I should have ordered, well, it's okay not to order a loaf because you got, I gotta stop thinking that, right? Like these are cute little bugs, maybe, yeah. Which is fine. Hopefully she didn't give me anything scary. I don't like scary ones. Ah, so hopefully not. This is Elf, yeah, it's eggnog, snickerdoodles, and marshmallows. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, I wish I had more money. I would have ordered these all in loaves. Now, th to be fair, these are cold. Look at the snowflakes. There's my boys. They're coming home. Oh, my goodness. Kind of too bad if my nails were. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my goodness. This is so good. Now, I just got an Instagram message from someone. Are you unboxing that? <laughs> I am. Oh, this is phenomenal. But you know, I'm not going to be sad because it's already December 7th and I will warm this, see how it performs, which I haven't had issues with her wax. And then I'll know for next year or if she does customs again. She's going to do customs differently. She did post a video. I'm not going to share that. That's her story and her information to share. But if you're on the Melted Moose Facebook, she did a video last night, I believe. So she kind of goes over the new plan for customs. Remember, Jackie is a one person. If you don't know that Melted Moose, I found her. I watched a few YouTube videos, found her, and I've been obsessed since I started this wax, vendor wax journey. I love her. She's a nurse. She does this part-time. She is amazing. So just remember, it's her. She does all this. So just keep that in mind. I ordered this. I ordered this uh, December 2nd. It's December 7th. I think I'm, I'll have to look exactly on the date and put it up on here if you guys want to know. But I think she it could be right. I mean, it's so quick. My boys just came home. So if you hear the dogs freaking out, that's why. Sorry, this one is Snow Miser. It's balsam fir, toasted marshmallow, and icy peppermint. She poured it December 2021, which is true because I just ordered it. She, oh my gosh, this is so good. She literally was days. There goes my puppies. Ah, I like this. This isn't a favorite. Uh, maybe it will be because wait a second. Now it's so cold though. It's like, it's probably zero degrees or minus two outside. So this is cold out. So, okay, uh, there you go. So, and her throat is so good. It's, I think the price is fair. She was obviously in my Good, Bad, Ugly series and she got number one spot. She's amazing. <gasps> the infamous Cindy Lou. If you do customs or she has this in her restock and you like these scent notes, it's pink sugar, candy canes, cotton candy frosting, and marshmallow fluff. So good. Oh my goodness. 
And I know how this smells. Oh my gosh, look at this. I love this. She did cute little shapes. These are Christmas presents. Oh my goodness. Oh, so good. I love, love this pink sugar blend. Like this is just so good and creamy with the, the cotton candy and the candy canes. I get more pink sugar candy canes, but it's just so beautiful. Oh, I have my scissors back here because I need to open the second box. She packaged these. She's got a padded mailer on the bottom of this and then she had all of this on top of it. This one is Whoville Blue Spruce Cotton Candy Frosting, Candy Canes and Sugar Cookies. I went a little crazy because I told you guys before, I haven't been able to order her wax since August. And I don't even, was that, I don't remember. But that was my customs. And before that, I, I think it's been like since May. Like it's been a while. Oh, this is beautiful. I may have gotten help from my famous friend, Vivian, who is fabulous at helping me with scents. And she, she got her box. And so I was like, can you please tell me your favorites? And um, so she kind of sent me the information. And then the next day I started seeing everyone else's um, and was like, yeah, I need to order a lot of those from the Christmas box. Um, and yes, I didn't get the Christmas box either. I would have loved to, but it didn't. Okay, this is plain old peppermint mocha. And I say that lightly because I love peppermint mocha. Clearly, I've discovered that. So I reached out to Jackie and said, Jackie, I really want a peppermint mocha. Do you have that? I mean, I would really like to continue to order with her if I can um, and support her business. So I said, if you order something and that's in there, I, you know, and you place an order for peppermint mocha and she's like, Oh, I have something. Oh my gosh, this is good. Oh, it's like, it's more peppermint than mocha. And I like that because I don't want it to be like too much chocolate. Oh, can I just sit my face in this? <laughs> my brain okay oh my gosh it's so good you guys now if you like peppermint mocha and you're in the customs i you could certainly um is you could add this with other things i'm just not you guys know i've said this a million times i'm not creative when it comes to blending stuff so if you are then great so plain old peppermint mocha why didn't i pick a name for that i should have okay and that my last bag is the Great Pumpkin. Now, I've mentioned this a lot in my warming. I have warmed through Cindy Lou, and I have warmed through the Great Pumpkin. All of the rest I've not had before from her. So this is pumpkin donuts, salted caramel, and Palo Santo. This is strong. This is beautiful. This is creamy. This is amazing. So good. I forgot what I ordered in a loaf. I ordered one loaf. Ah. Oh. If you love Palo Santo blends, this is not too pumpkin. It's like a nice creamy pumpkin with more donut, caramel, and the Palo. Oh. This has got to be a top scent from her. And I, I think Vivian and I went round and round my last customs and she said, try it. I think you'll love it because I love Palo Santo. This is truly an amazing Palo blend. Like, if you love Palo, I, I recommend that truly. For, for customs or requests or anything. I, I just think that's great. Here is my one loaf. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, now I asked Jackie and I said, hey, some of these are not my, like I want you to pour them, but they're not my mental creations. Um, and this one was pretty basic, but I said, I need to name it because, so when I did my last custom with her, I did a lot of The Office and Big Bang because I was obsessed with that. Well, now it's Christmas, so what else do you think I'm going to pick is my favorite movie, which is, does anybody know what my favorite Christmas movie is? I've mentioned it several times and on Instagram. That is what my loaf is named after, and it's Are You Serious, Clark? <laughs> And it's creamy peppermint and creamy, or sweet peppermint and creamy vanilla. And I just said, decorate it. However, just, I need a decorated loaf because it's Christmas and she does such a good job at decorating them. But like, if I didn't have as much wax as I did, I would order loaves. Like Jackie, FYI, if you did more of, um, like, oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so beautiful. 
If you like peppermint, I highly recommend. I think, so I named it, but I think it's a one oil. Jackie would know, but it is sweet peppermint and creamy vanilla. Oh, she did it two colors. Bless her beautiful heart. Oh, so I, you know, if I didn't have as much wax and I'm hoping I'm to start thinning things out, I'm going to go on a low buy in January, February, maybe March. Um, if I can thin things out, I think I, I know this, I know this is tough for some people, but I think I'm going to purchase from the vendors that do well for me and stop ordering all the time from new vendors because I just find that I love her aesthetic. I love, I just love her wax. It I, truly, it performs so well for me. And I, I've said this a lot, like when I got Campfire Nights, I got it and it was only poured like two weeks before. And I said, Jackie, I didn't get a really good throw from this. And I did it in my bedroom bathroom. She's like, give it a month total from when I poured it and then try again. I did. And if you guys saw my melting basket on Sunday, I rave about Campfire Nights. It is strong. So you do need to give it the time it needs. So like, even when I reached out to her, she responded to me. She, I Like I said, that means a lot to me that I'm just not a number, that I'm a person to her. And that matters to me. And that's why she gets my money. And I ordered two boxes. I really would have liked to order more. But I will say that with work and everything, I wasn't 100% like it, my mind wasn't ready. And I looked at the list and all of a sudden I saw there's one more person. And then I was kind of throwing things in to get together. And I asked her, like, I need this peppermint creaminess. Can you help me? What do you have? And she told me. She is great to work with. Like, when I have questions, she responds. And I'm like, Jackie, I know you're busy. So just as soon as you can, will you let me know? And I will say, hey, I wanted to do eggnog and peppermint and something else. And she's like, I don't think that's going to blend well. So then she said, just give me a minute. And then she came back to me and she's like, I talked to someone else and I don't think that will be a good combo. And I'm like, okay, good. If you wouldn't have told me and I hated it, it wouldn't have been her fault. It would have been my fault. But I just appreciate that she told me that. If you like peppermint creaminess, loveliness, this is one of my, like, I'm cold. I, this is phenomenal. And you know I have another peppermint scent that I love. This is, kind of smells exactly the same. Um, I love this. I love how she decorated it. Okay, then I have some samples in here, and here's a card. Oh, this is so cool. On the back, she wrote, all it takes is one cent to bring back a thousand memories. I love that. She created my, I asked her to do a little of my last custom. So it's Evenings with Andrew, and so she has, other people have requested it. And if you've requested that, I just want to say thank you. That's in honor of my son. She did that scent for me, and she's kept the name. So again, another reason I love her. I paid for everything in these boxes. This is not sponsored. This is nothing like that. I adore her. I love her wax. That's just the way it is. And I'm going to be honest. She's honest, I'm honest, and I love her heart. And keeping his that low, that name that I picked and then keeping it, I just, that was the sweetest thing ever. Like, I'm not going to lie. She's, you know, when people go above and beyond, that's, that's, I feel that way, you know? Okay, samples. Truly meant to be, I think this is strawberry and mint. I don't know which mint, though. This is good. I, I think I have this in the scent shot. So I'll enjoy warming that. I was thinking of adding that to my customs. But then I was like, oh, I don't know because I haven't worn my scent shot. Oh, pink sugar, vanilla bean noel, and peppermint. Did I order this? Oh, I like this. I, maybe she has more of these. Okay. This one is House on the Haunted Hill. I wonder if she used some of, like, some of my customs and she poured scent shots. If you watch her video on her Facebook group... Um, House on the Haunted Hill. It's kind of masculine-y. I don't know. Not my favorite. I appreciate that she sent me something different. Pumpkin patching. Um, but I know she said because she had all these customs she's finishing. I think she has 10 left in her list. Ooh, pumpkin patching is good. Uh, I think she has 10 more on her list. And then she's opening, a, like, doing a different customs. Um, but I know she's going to have an RTS in, like, a week or two because... I'm assuming she's going to pour scent shots from people's customs because why wouldn't you make extra and then make money? Jackie, if you pour more of this, are you serious, Clark? I seriously will order a loaf again. Or 
the Great Pumpkin. You guys should go there and request it. <laughs> tell her, tell her Charity influenced you and you need more. Okay, so this is how the first box came that I ripped out, open. So I believe I have 20 souffles. I think that's what I asked her for. Like I kept like changing things. And then I was like, no, I need, I want to do 20. So I think that's what I ended up with souffles. That was my goal. Okay. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I did. Okay. So again, some of these may not be like I picked different ones that I have that I want to try with her. And I asked her to name them what I wanted. And she said, if someone else requested it, they may, then it might be different. So if you like something, or if you see it in my melting basket, it may not be the same name, but just ask her. So this one is a pretty pink. Uh, it looks great, a little full, a lot of sap. <laughs> the Christmas, National, Christ National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, right? You know what that's from? <laughs> you should. <laughs> If you haven't seen the movie, then you should. Okay, so I did butter, mint, cotton candy, frosting, and sugar cookies. I think she has a similar one to this. It's peppermint, cotton candy, frosting, and sugar cookies, something like that. But I wanted to try the butter mint, and I do like this. So I don't, Jackie, I think, watches my videos, but I want to know what she thought. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm, I probably just got wax on my lip. This I love this. Um, I'm all obsessed with mint lately. I think this will be a beautiful blend for bedtime. Jackie, I think you need to get a headache blend because I think that would be something I would have added too. Okay, I'm just gonna put these back in here. Oh, did I show you this? Okay, this video is probably gonna go up tomorrow because it's gonna take me forever to do this. <laughs> okay, I think this is, this was hers from her, um, is this from her Christmas box? Angry Elf, Irish cream latte, eggnog, and zucchini bread. This is hers. So this is from the Christmas box. Because I think, oh, this is good. I'm not usually a zucchini person. But I think when I talked to Vivian, she said, like, she's so good. She knows what I like. And she's like, I don't think you'll like this. I think you'll love this. This is a must. This is really, really good. I definitely get the the eggnog and the latte and then the zucchini bread. And she does have a beautiful zucchini. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This one is, I don't know, Margo. Candy canes, milk and cookies, and a touch of pine. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> mm, it's so yummy. Okay. This is so good. Jackie, this is beautiful. Oh, I should order more of this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You get this candy cane with this lovely like bakery note, like of a crunchy cookie. And then you just get a poof of pine. Oh, that like makes my mouth water. And the other one was, I don't know, Margot. <laughs> yes, I'm a dork. I don't really care. Okay, I think this is this is hers, Rebel Without a Claws. It is, sugar cookies, buttercream, crunch and, crunch and Palo Santo. I'm sorry, I didn't, my phone is what I use for sending her message, yeah, messages. And this is beautiful. Sugar cookies, Palo, and you get this creamy buttercream. Oh, this is Rebel Without a Claws. And if you like Palo, this, if you don't like creamy pumpkin, I would try this one. This, oh, I still like the, the great pumpkin. I'm going to get that in a loaf next time. That is loaf worthy. I just got to say again, like Jackie, I think Vivian and I told her that if she ordered, if she made um, loaves, people would order. And she's like, I don't know. And can you please go on her and tell her you would, if you would. Okay. I just love that she let me do this. Now, again, if, if it's her scent, or if you want it again, she may not use the name. I think something like that. I can't remember what she told me the rules are. But this is Eddie because the second one is goes with it, okay? So Eddie is caramel apple, funnel cake, and cotton candy frosting. I like her um, carnival scents. And this, so I added a few different ones this time. She has her own one, but it uses a cake, and I don't like that. 
she has another, she's like three different ones. So this is great. The only other thing, you can only get three oils. I would have asked for waffle cone and I think this would have been fabulous. So Jackie, I think you should do this yourself. Do caramel, apple, funnel cake, cotton candy frosting and waffle cone. And I would buy that. It's just, I think she only, I think it's three oil limit. This is great. This is Eddie. You guys, I, I'm, I'm going to pick up my sister tonight. That's the plan. Okay, let's hope that goes through. Okay, I'm not going to say this word, but can you say it? It's S-H-I-T, boop, 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 full. So if you know Eddie, then you know what this is for. Okay, so I said, could you please just name it that? It's just for me. <laughs> it's key lime pie, cream cheese frosting, and frosted graham crackers. I just said, I like, I heard your key lime is good, so let's make it a little different because I already ordered the key lime. Oh, and this, oh my gosh, this, this is really good. Oh, her key lime pie is good. But if you want more like a kind of cheesecakey blend with that cream cheese and the graham crackers, oh, this is good. So it's key lime pie, cream cheese frosting, and frosted graham crackers. Oh, Jackie, well done. I love this. And I love the name, and it's kind of poo colored. <laughs> Simple joys in life, that's all it takes for me, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just cannot tell you how much I love that she let me pick these. <laughs> Jolliest bunch of <laughs> bleep bleep this sign of the nut house. Oh my gosh, I love her. <laughs> it's candy cane and vanilla pudding cake. <laughs> I am just so happy she let me do this. Oh, this is good. It's a simple joys in life, and apparently it just takes National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation slang words, and I'm the happiest person on this nut house, in this nut house. Oh, okay. So her loaf was can't, sweet peppermint and creamy vanilla. This takes on more of the cake. I definitely get a, like a, a creamy cake with candy cane in it. So it depend what you like. The other one is very like refreshing, creamy. This one is that cake. Like if you made a cake and added like peppermint to it. Oh my gosh, I just, I'm sorry about the names. I just am loving this. You have no idea. Well, clearly you do because you can see my face. <laughs> okay, and again from the movie, I'll stop saying that. Where's the Tylenol? Okay, cotton candy frosting, lavender and marshmallow. I think this is her blend, okay. I won't claim this one. I'm pretty sure 99.999% this is hers. I'm pretty sure this is one of my favorite. This is. This is. I did a custom in it and I think I warmed it last night and it's on my Instagram and I'm going to warm it tonight because it's almost gone. So this is her blend. But I said, can you just name it what I want? And she's comply. <laughs> Where's the Tylenol? Cotton candy frosting, lavender, and marshmallow. This is one of my favorites. I can't remember. Um. <laughs> Wasn't he screaming and like saying something about his boss and he's like, and then he swears and then he's like, where's the Tylenol? And I just feel like that's my life. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry that I find such simple joys in the dumbest things. I get it. You know, it's fine. <laughs> it doesn't take much to make me happy, really. Okay. I think that's, I've got one more. What was that one? Okay. Okay, and... Okay, so this one is Griswold Family Christmas. <laughs> and it is crackling birch, peppermint, and marshmallow fluff. <laughs> that just sounds great, like around the fire. Oh, this is so yummy. Oh, this is good. Gosh, Jackie, I really get the peppermint in this. I wonder how much crackling birch she put in this. It's, it's an interesting, oh, this is going to be good to warm. Oh, this is good. I love this. This is sweet. And I'm, I can't wait for more of that crackling. Like I can smell the crackling, but that the peppermint and the marshmallow really take hold of that, which I'm fine with. Okay. This one is winter woods, crackling birch, balsam, and frosty peppermint. This was hers. Oh, okay. This is, oh, this is good too. Oh, this is yummy. I love crackling birch. You know, if I didn't say that, my name is Charity and I love crackling birch blends and peppermint, clearly. 
This is great. I, you know, I, I don't, I, you know, I'm so indecisive and like, I just wanted to try all of these. Okay. This one is pumpkin schmores. It's schmores. I say pumpkin, pecan waffles, vanilla, custard, and marshmallow fireside. Oh, that is good. Oh, that's yummy. Oh, oh this is good. If you haven't tried this and you like pumpkin pecan waffles and fireside, I would, this is like literally the, the marshmallow fireside is blended really well and you get a little bit of that creaminess of the custard. So this is great. Okay. Boardwalk Christmas. I'm just looking at the time because I have to leave to get my sister at, in like a half hour. Boardwalk Christmas is boardwalk marshmallow clouds, blue spruce and candy canes. Oh, this is interesting. I I kind of, like, I was just struggling with the scent, which ones to get. And I'm like, I just want to try a bunch. Because last year I started, I, I told this 50 million times, I started buying in January, so, like, I didn't get Christmas. And if you're going to get Christmas and you can get it with the Melted Moose, like, of course. This is really good. I get more blue spruce and candy canes than I do Boardwalk Marshmallow Cloud, but I'm okay with that. Mmm, that's good. I don't know if I'm deaf. I don't know if, I don't think I like blue spruce. I think I like pine more. Now that I've had these, I can definitely smell a difference. So, okay. We still got quite a ways left. Okay, this is Abominable Sugar Cookies, Candy Canes, and White Chocolate Noel. Somebody wanted this in her, um, when she had requested scents, somebody said this one, and a lot of people like this. This is interesting. I definitely get the white chocolate in that. This almost reminds me of a white chocolate, not a mocha really, but I don't know. That's really good. I like that one. Hmm. I can't wait to warm these. These are still so cold, you guys. You, I mean, the bottom of this is freezing. And okay, this got into my town yesterday at one o'clock and I wanted to go get it, but you, I can't pick it up from the post office. This was from her Christmas box, Kiss Me at Midnight. Cashmere Plum and Vanilla Champagne. Now, this one kind of sounded risky to me, but uh, Vivian recommended it, and I trust her, and this is fabulous. Oh, this is really good. Wow, this is such an interesting blend. You get this creamy plum, and then you get that bubbly shampoo. Shampoo. Champagne. I worked all day. It is what it is, and look at this color. It kind of matches my shirt. Yes, it does. Love that too. I love red or wine or any of those colors. Okay, I've had case of the Mondays before. This is a beautiful salted caramel zucchini bread and a cup of hot coffee. It, this is a classic one from the Melted Moose. If you haven't tried this, I think this is almost essential. It's so good. I could eat this. It, it smells like you're literally having this yummy zucchini bread with caramel like when you bake it and then you get like the the crispiness of the caramel and then you're having coffee slay all day mistletoe peppermint and vanilla bean noel Trust, i'm gonna get it. oh this is good too oh my gosh this I, mistletoe again i'm finding i like pine i think better but this is okay um i think mistletoe is just a sharper note of like christmas or i mean it reminds me when i go in to get um pay for our christmas tree and there's a bunch of wreaths and stuff in there and they're this thick like berry note i don't know it's very good i don't know if it's my favorite but i enjoy it and i look forward to melting it so then we'll see when i melt it okay this one is rudolph gingerbread salted caramel and eggnog so i was gonna get some eggnog blend gosh i really like that elf yeah i should have got a loaf in that Jackie, pour a loaf in that. Okay, this is another fabulous eggnog blend. Gingerbread, salted caramel, and eggnog. You definitely get the gingerbread, but it's like beautiful. Like it's when I make my gingerbread men and I make the dough and I'm gonna put it in the oven. It's like that doughy gingerbread, but it's not doughy like not done. It's, well, cause dough isn't done, but it's like right before you put it in there and it starts baking. Oh, and the eggnog. I love eggnog blends and look at the color. Love it. Love it. I love when vendors do like reds and deep blues. 
sometimes they stain but or purple it's so pretty when you melt them oh my gosh i love it and i'm not popping all these out i know it, they're cold but I, her wax is so soft you don't need to microwave it and i don't want to make a mess this one is cloud cake sugar cookies vanilla butter fudge vanilla bean noel and marshmallow whip this is hers this is good definitely more of a cookie note i get vanilla butter cookie so it's i get a tiny bit of that fudge i wonder if she did any of these like decorated or like swirly nope just fine i don't care but that it's more of a creamy vanilla cookie to me to my nose but like i said she just literally poured these like five days ago She's in Illinois. I'm in Wisconsin. So if you wonder why I got it so quick, she literally shipped it. And I think it got here in like two days. So I'm just saying I'm a little spoiled because she's close. So there are a couple vendors that I'm very close to and I'm so thankful for. Okay, this is Oh Holy Night. I just love that name because of Jesus. And uh, Bonfire Bliss, Balsam, Palo Santo, and Toasted Marshmallow. Oh, I you know I love smoky. This is really smoky. Oh, this is good too. Crackling birch is like a tree crackling fire. This is more like a bonfire. Like you're throwing a bunch of stuff in to burn it. Oh, that is so good. I'm so excited. Do I have something in my hair? Yeah, I have wax. Why wouldn't I have wax in my hair? Because it wouldn't be me. I love this. I was like, maybe I won't like any and you know, it'll be fine. I can de it or give it away. And I'm like, um, yeah, I love a lot of these. Okay. Oh, well, all of them. I'm happy with all, except this one's very light in the vanilla, but I will, like I said, that one I'm not going to warm right now. I'll wait until January. And like I said, I was going more heavy Christmas and I'm okay with if I don't use them all because clearly I will use them next year because I've been melting Christmas wax since November. Okay. This one is Christmas wish, Christmas trees, and freshly baked sugar cookies. And now I know what I like. Oh, dang. This is a good cookie blend. Oh, this is good. What is this again? Sugar or Christmas trees. Oh my gosh, my brain. I've been at work way too long today. Christmas trees and freshly baked sugar cookies. You really do get this beautiful cookie, but then, oh my gosh. It's like you're standing next to your Christmas tree eating a sugar cookie. That's crunchy and yummy. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Please don't ask me to pick a favorite because I really, I mean, I could tell you a few. If you have questions and you're out for customs, you can ask me, but I haven't warmed anything. Obviously I've bought from Melted Moose since last January, so almost a year. So Jackie, thank you. Um, I'm sure that when I say that you're probably like, no, thank you. Because you know, I get it, but um, I'm just so happy. <laughs> I was trying, like I had her, melted mousse to one bin but it's gonna add a whole another two bins where i'm at and i don't care and i have no shame in my game i do have a little bit of shame sometimes but then i smell this wax when i'm stressed and i feel so much better so i'm just saying so i'm gonna go get ready because it is 5 11 and the roads are snowy and i need to pick my sister up at 6 30 so i need to leave here sooner than later so I can make sure I get there safely because she's quite a ways away and we're going to just go for a ride I'm guessing we're going to look for Christmas lights I'm guessing um so I'm going to go take some ibuprofen because my head from work is killing me again um I just want to say thanks so much for all the kindness on Instagram and always on my videos I truly do appreciate you guys and I'm trying you know I went back in my last video and I um I try to get all the comments as quick as I can um, but with work and, you know, stress, sometimes I'm delayed, but I want you to know that I do read those comments. And if I don't respond, I give you a heart right away. And I just, I don't remember who it was that said a beautiful prayer. And I just read that and I just got goosebumps. And I just, I love people that have the spirit in them and they can just throw out a prayer so beautiful like that. And uh, I do truly appreciate it. I just, again, will say that I, I love the kindness and everybody that everybody shows and just how everybody lifts each other up in this little wax world that we're in. And I do appreciate that very much because instead of being unkind, I just love all the kindness that everyone like shows. And there's no reason to be unkind. We're just talking about wax. So I do appreciate that, that everyone sees that. So 
I just wanted to get this recorded for you guys because it's going to be a long video and I don't usually like doing long videos, but when you get two boxes of wax, like, well, what am I going to do about it? So I am going to try to hold off warming these for a little bit, but I might end up warming in them anyway because, gosh, that loaf is so pretty. Like, oh, I don't want to cut this, but look how pretty it is. So I, this is just great. I don't know. Anyway. I want to say thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do so down below if you want. And I just want to say, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.